Hi, this is Steve Wiedemann. Today we're going to use a tool called Mechanical Turk to uh, better understand what users think of our search results, uh, as well as potentially influence where a particular listing ranks within uh, natural search. There are three simple principles of SEO. One is what I call relevancy to query, meaning we've got content related to what the person typed into Google. So somebody types in personal injury attorney Atlanta, for example. There's John Foy's homepage, but there's also office locations, Atlanta personal injury lawyers. So we've got a page um, that best matches what the person might be looking for. Uh, that's principle one. Principle two is visibility or popularity. And um, what what Really what we're talking about with popularity is, is other websites that agree or vote that ours is relevant. And let me get even a little more uh, detailed with that. What I mean is an individual page on your website, for example, personal injury attorney uh, is a keyword that we'd like to rank for. Other websites that talk about, mention, link to, discuss John Foy and personal injury attorney and potentially link to this page, even if it's just a click here link or www.link versus a link that actually contains the words personal injury attorney or personal injury lawyer. Um, the more quality authoritative websites that are linking to this page uh, across the internet, uh, the more of a signal that Google gets that this page is the best result. So we've got relevancy, popularity, and the last principle, the, uh, the third principle is what I call user behavior. Um, I've kind of nailed it down to click and stay, meaning Google records every search that you do and they record every action that you take in their database to help them decide what's relevant to the users and what isn't. So <clears throat> your actions influence search results. If you're connected to people in certain circles uh, in Google Plus now, your circles will influence your rankings. However, not everybody is connected to everybody's circle. So uh, this being a platform on top of Google is a neat little way to influence, you know, in 1%, less than 1% uh, of the search results if you're connected to certain circles. Um, other influencers are somebody makes a click. If somebody clicks on your listing, uh, the ratio of clicks to impressions, and impressions when you do a search and this page comes up, uh, the ratio of clicks and impressions is called click-through rate. And the higher your click-through rate, uh, the more of a signal it sends to Google that uh, this was the best search result. However, if the user returns to Google and chooses a different result, you lose that point. So the idea is, I mentioned click and stay, is to get them to click your listing more than the other listings on the page because you've got an awesome title and description. Um, and it's to get them to stay on your web page, meaning your web page has everything that they were looking for. So let's click on, well, I'll click on this here in a minute. Um, Oh, here, let's just do it. What the heck? So let's click on this page. Office locations, Atlanta personal injury lawyers. So here we've got this nice SEO optimized page. There's John Foy. There's his strong arm brand, which you might have seen on TV. Um, we're definitely going to link up this Yahoo listing so we can also uh, list our Google, Bing, and Yahoo placements uh, for this exact location. Um, and then again, all the information that we would tell the search engines, maybe even a video, um, you know, optimized again for that keyword that we'd like to rank for. Personal injury attorneys, Atlanta. And there you go. Uh, continue going down the list, um, and we've got additional resources, cross-linking other content, and then maybe some, you know, descriptive information about John Foy and why he might be the best resource uh, for you. So anyway, so that's what we do in search. So those are the three principles, relevancy, popularity, and user behavior. Today we're going to be looking specifically at creating um, an experience for users that influences the number of people who are searching for a particular brand and keyword and the rate at which people are clicking on the listing. Uh, doing this exercise one time uh, won't have any strong long-term events. Doing this event repetitiously um, is absolutely beneficial to the brand and to the keyword uh, because what this does, if you do this one time, Google has a database, you know, of, of and it keeps track of how many people have done a search for personal injury attorney Atlanta, for example. And if um, in that database it knows on average a thousand people a month do that search, if suddenly two thousand or three thousand people are doing that search and most of them are choosing one individual listing, 
then it's kind of a red flag. It's kind of a, you know, hey, this is really unusual. The volume of searches has gone up and they're all going to one guy. So not really beneficial to us to, um, you know, to try to do a lot very quickly in spurts. Instead, what we want to do is create a pattern of natural behavior. So we're going to start influencing the search results on a daily basis for pennies on the dollar. And what we're going to do is log into requester.mturk.com. Uh, you're going to click on design. Once you go to requester.mturk.com, click on design. And there's already some templates for us that we can use. Let's scroll down and take a look at the different options that we have here. So there's one here at the bottom called search relevance. This is new. And what's interesting about this is that several months ago, Amazon told you specifically do not use um, our tool to influence or game search results. And so they've, um, they've labeled it as evaluate the effectiveness of search results. And apparently they're allowing you to do it now. I don't know why, but it's just what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this template. And our template name is going to be uh, John Foy. Um, personal injury all right <clears throat> evaluate the effectiveness of search results is a default title um, let's do let's just leave it let's just leave it as is uh, search results for a lawyer for a law firm Description, given a search query, uh, rank how well the search results match the query. For an attorney in Atlanta. Could have just left it to fault, but just, just so there's a little bit of uniqueness to it, uh, I'm going to add those couple words. Search, evaluate, opinion, that's fine. Uh, time allotted per assignment, let's, let's give them an hour to do it. Uh, let's make the hit expire in three days. Let's take it down so it expires sooner than later. We don't need to use masters because that's for a specific type of task for the most part. Let's make sure that our hit approval rate is 90% or above. And the number of hits approved, um, you know, let's let's just make sure in the past that they've no, let's just remove it. What the heck? Let's let anybody grab this thing. I think I think we'll have a lot more opportunity to get a lot more unique users, you know, to latch onto this. Um, workers must have all the required qualifications to preview the hits. Um, yeah, yeah, you gotta have a hit approval rate. Oh, you know what? I also want to make sure that um, they're based in the U.S. So let's make sure that these are all based in the United States. It would be nice if I could drill down to just Georgia. Uh, however, they, they don't have it that detailed just yet. I'm definitely going to bring it up because I think that's a really good idea. And, um, you know, let's bring our hit approval rate down a little bit more. Let's just take it down to 85%. I think we'll get more users that way. And this isn't something where we're really looking for quality anyway. We're just looking for activity. Um, let's go ahead and reward per assignment. Let's <coughs> excuse me, make this one worth uh, 10 cents. Number of hits per assignment. Let's go for, I don't know, 30? How about 40? Let's go after 40 of them. So we're going to do 40 of these per day is the goal here. And, um, you know, I wonder if we could even take this down. Hit expires in one day. All right. And results are automatically approved in two days. Let's design the layout now. Evaluate search results. So here's the template. Imagine you search for Mechanical Turk in Google um, and got back a list of search results. Imagine, I like the way they used imagine to not get them in trouble. So I can see why they've added this and how they've kind of sort of controlled the rules. Uh, let's do, imagine you searched for uh, personal injury attorney and for now we've got to include his brand because he's not even on the first five pages yet uh, personal injury attorney Atlanta uh, John Foy 
in Google and got back a list of URLs and your results. A result of, um, let's see, you know what, and let's, maybe we can even take this down a little bit more. Personal Injury Attorney Atlanta. Let's just use FOI. And let's see what comes up before we do this, just to make sure that we're here. Let's go ahead and paste it in and see what comes up. Yeah, he's still at the top because I'm logged into Google. Let me log out of Google and see what comes up. Uh, let's see here. Log out. Uh, dumb control panel screwing me up. Oh well. So we can see he's he's kicking butt in the search results um, as is. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this with the brand, even though we're already at the top because I want to influence a number of people who are searching for this particular word uh, term. Uh, you know what I could do is really quickly kill this extension. Uh, let's see here. Actually it's under options, um, tools, extensions. Let's get rid of SEO Moz for now. Moz bar. and uh, disable. There we go. And let's refresh. There we go. Cool. So now I can go to here. I can sign out. And let's see where John Foy ranks now. Okay. So he's got the first two search results. It's mostly his stuff that's showing up. Personal Injury Attorney Atlanta. Ideally, we want him to start showing up for Personal Injury Lawyer Atlanta, but um, you know, I I do want to include his whole brand, John Foy. Cause I think that's the way people would most likely search for him more than just Foy. Let's go ahead and use that full query. Um, John Foy. And Google and got back a list of URLs and results. As a result, um www.johnfoy.com would be a result. Be a highly relevant match. As would johnfoy.com forward slash. And let's copy this whole thing here. Control C. Sometimes copying from a browser renders HTML, and we don't want that. So I use Notepad as a way to strip all the HTML. Then I'll paste it here. And let's see. The result of would be a highly relevant match. Adwood. Um, uh, please review the both results. Um, in search, um, including title, the title, and description that appear. A new story about a blah 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 would be relevant. Um, let's see. The second longer URL we believe to be more relevant uh, because it contains more Atlanta information, Atlanta specific information. Um, do you agree? Let's see. No, let's not even make a question. Second URL we believe to be more relevant because it contains more Atlanta specific information. <coughs> However, um, the root domain keeps appearing first. 
just making a statement basically. Using these guidelines help us evaluate the results for the following query. Um, personal injury attorney Atlanta John Foy. Rank how relevant the search result is. Click on the link to view the content of the website. Um, click on the first and second link to view the content of the website in a new window. And so then we'll uh, leave this out of here. Rank how relevant the search is. Click on the first and second link to view the content of the website in a new window. So I don't I don't really want them to. I want to use the word search, um, find, and click. I don't want to be flagged if if they are not allowing people to do a, a search because it's still kind of gaming search results if you're. Um, if you're doing this too explicitly. So instead of using search, I'm going to use the word find. Find and click on the first and second link, second results, to view the content of the website in a new window. Any search engine, ah, I'm using search again, uh, any engine is fine. Let's see. Imagine you search for personal injury in Google. Okay, I used the word Google already. I'm going to just bold this so they know. In Google, please provide any comments you have below and we appreciate your input. Um, In particular, would you expect to see different content than what is displayed? How could we improve the title and description to be more enticing and the content on the Atlanta specific page to be more relevant to someone looking for a personal injury attorney. There we go. Preview and finish. Your template was saved. Here's a step I, I've missed a thousand times in the past, and it will make you irate and throw your computer out the window. So you've got to scroll down. It looks like it's done, and it looks like you're going to go to publish, but it's not. You've got to scroll down, and you've got to click this finish, finish button. If you don't, you're going to be in a loony bin uh, after doing this like four or five times. Um, I got pretty close, and I finally get it now. Um, all right, let's read it over real quick. Evaluate search results. Imagine you search for personal injury attorney Atlanta. Uh, John Foy in Google and got back a list of URLs and results. By the way, when we finally do get to the first page for Personal Injury Attorney Atlanta by itself, we're going to remove the brand. Um, you know, and, and we can divvy this up a little bit and have people start searching for other keywords. Um, every day we can modify the search and tweak it just a little bit so that every day there's you know 40 more people um, searching for you know specific John Foy related branded terms. Um, result for www.johnfoy.com would be high relevant search ad, as would uh, www.johnfoy.com office blah 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 <coughs> excuse me so please review both the search uh, both results in search including title and description that appear the second longer URL we believe to be more relevant because it contains uh, more Atlanta specific information however the root domain keeps appearing first using these guidelines please help us evaluate the search results for the following query Rank how relevant this search result is. Find and click on the first and second result to view the content of the website. 
Broken link, not relevant, somewhat relevant, highly relevant. In particular, would you expect to see different content on what's displayed? How could we improve the title and description to be more enticing um, and the content on the Atlanta-specific page to be more relevant to someone looking for personal injury attorney? Let's go ahead and finish it. And we might not get many bytes for this particular one at, at 10 cents. <laughs> so if we don't, ne the next day we'll raise it up to 15 and see what happens. Let's go ahead and select this. 10 cents a hit. You got one hour to do it. It looks like a simple little box. Let's click on next. Confirm. It says it's going to cost me a whopping $3 to do this. $3 a day. Right? If I do this once a day, publish it. Now, if I wanted to, I could sit here and just watch it. You know, and and see as people are taking it. When it's done, I'll get a whole list of of results, and I'll be able to download it into an Excel file, and I'll get all of the user feedback, and I'll be able to modify my title and description based on that feedback. Now, remember, if I do this every day, you know, for a hundred days, you know, I'm going to get back like what is that, four thousand, um, four thousand different um, responses, uh, and that's that's kind of neat. I mean, to to look at what you could do over time. Um, well, 40 times, 100, yeah, it's pretty big. So you could get a lot of different feedback around how to fix the page uh, and the title and description based on what people are saying about what they see in the search results. Uh, and if you do this repetitiously over time, you've now influenced another 40 searches per day um, specifically for the brand. Um, I would just do John Foy by itself, but again, we are trying to target specific keywords, and we want Google to correlate the keyword to our brand. So we're going to do this, and tomorrow I might change it to John Foy, personal injury attorney. And the next day I might make it uh, personal injury John Foy uh, Atlanta and just just switch up and use the keywords in different um, you know variations and kinda watch it over time and see how people are are using it or I could do the opposite is I can create five hits um, at ten each with different variations um, you know all wrapped around the brand so that um, every day there's ten different ways somebody might search and uh, we'll get 40 to 50 hits per day uh, around those five different variations, all focused around personal injury attorney, personal injury lawyer, Atlanta, Atlanta, personal injury lawyer, Atlanta, personal injury attorney. So we could do this, um, you know, in, in different ways uh, to give Google more of a natural signal of, of relevancy, provided we keep using John and John Foy and Foy and Associates uh, as part of that query. So anyway, this is uh, Steve Wiedemann, how to use Mechanical Turk to get great feedback about what users think of your search results and your content uh, as well as to mildly influence the third principle of SEO which is user behavior. Thanks for watching.